Well, this weekend I did not go out and shoot at all. Uh, I decided to sleep instead. Uh, but I wanted to put up a video, and so what I thought I would do is a short Photoshop tutorial. And I'm going to show you how I turned this photo into this photo. Let's get started. Well, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. So I was out shooting a couple weeks ago, doing some landscape photography, and I was driving home, and I caught this scene out of the corner of my eye. So I pulled over, I took the shot, and when I took it, I felt it would look really good if it had more of a vintage, old-fashioned mood to it. And that's what I'm going to create uh, with this session today. Uh, I'm in Photoshop. I've done some work already in Lightroom. Uh, I've done uh, some added some contrast, I added some vibrance to it, I pulled it into Photoshop. Now keep in mind when you're in Photoshop there are many ways of doing exactly the same thing. So this is just my methodology. If you have a different way of doing this or hopefully a better way of doing it, please comment down below because it would be helpful to, to me and others uh, if you do that. Um, when I'm working in Photoshop, the first thing I always do is create a copy of the background layer. And so I'm on a Mac, there's a great shortcut for that, Command J. You can always right click on the layer, go up to duplicate layer, hit OK. I won't do that, but there's uh, another way of doing it. So with this process, there's really two steps to it. The first is to create almost a mist or a foggy feel to the image. Separately, I want to warm it up and I want to introduce some yellows and oranges or reds to it. So for the first step, it's relatively straightforward. I'm going to use a curves adjustment layer. So I've got my icons up here. I'll click on the curves adjustment layer icon. And I want to pull up the shadows and down the highlights. And so the lower left, which represents the deepest shadows, if I pull up this line, you can see the shadows are, are getting lightened up. On the opposite side of the highlights, if I pull this down, it pulls down the highlights. And so you can see here's the before, here's the after. It already starts to give you that nostalgic feel to it. Next thing I want to do is add some color to it. And there's several ways of doing it. I'm going to show you two ways. Uh, I'm going to use a curves adjustment layer again. And I'm going to click on RGB to get into some of these color channels. So if you click on blue, this controls the blue channel. Pulling up adds more blue. I don't want that. Pulling down will add some yellow though, and that's what I do want. So I can pull down, introduce some yellow into the image. Let's put some red in there too. So if you go to the red channel and pull up, you're getting some red. So now I'm getting this orange feel to it. Uh, the green channel, you know what? I can pull down the green. That throws in a bit more magenta. So pull that down just a little bit, and you can see what I've created. Here's the before. Here's the after. Let me show you one more way of doing the color. I'm going to turn off this channel, click on the layer down below. I'm going to use a solid color adjustment layer. And I'm going to choose the color I want. So I'm going to choose an orangey yellow, uh, you know, something like this, let's say. Maybe get a little bit more orange in there. Hit OK. Uh, obviously, that doesn't work. The entire image is now one block of color. But we can change the, um, change the blending mode. And so if I go down to Overlay, you know, that looks pretty good. If I go to Soft Light, that also looks quite good. In fact, I like this one better. And so, again, there's two ways of doing the same thing, essentially. Here's the before. That's what I started with. And here's the after with that nostalgic feel to it. If you wanted to, you could add some texture to this. I could pull in some texture. I can add some grain to it. I'm not going to do that, but that also will help sometimes in creating a nostalgic image. Listen, I hope this helps. If, uh, if you found it useful and you want to see more videos, just hit that subscribe button on the lower right corner of the screen. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. If I can't, I'll figure it out and let you know what I think. But until next time, thanks for watching.